Hello viewers, and welcome to the tale of daily commitment. A man with no skills at working out, who just started working out every day with a very simple strategy of a little bit of exercise every day and just increase it slowly. He found out that worked for squats. It didn't work so well for push-up guys. Push-ups, I kinda I kind of got stuck. And so we started doing sets. I started alternating them. Today is gonna be the 80% day for push-ups. Last time I accidentally did 18 on my 80% day instead of um, instead of 17. I really should be doing 17. So we're only gonna do 17 today. And I'd like to push the max. We pushed our max up for horizontal pull-ups. So we made success there, great success. But um, anyway, hopefully we'll push our max up for these push-ups soon too with our new strategies, with our days off in between. Anyway, so today, push-up day, 80%, let's do it. We're gonna do eight and then we're gonna do seven. Uh, it shouldn't be too hard again these 80% days. I was just pushing myself a little too hard on the push-ups basically, but anyway, now we're not doing that. So 80% days, here we go. So right under the shoulders. We're gonna go back a little bit, all right? We're gonna tighten a couple different things. Uh, we're gonna tighten legs, we're gonna tighten butt, we're gonna tighten chest, and we're gonna tighten our like collar, I call it. One, two, three, four, hmm, interesting. Five, six, seven, and then all the way down, all the way up. Not bad, not bad. I was doing this thing where I tried to really make sure I was holding my shoulders down, not letting them creep up. But I actually had my hands, I think, a little tighter than normal. So that was kind of cool. It felt good. Uh, I definitely, I wasn't locked in to do like maybe 10 or 11 of them, which I was doing on my max days. Like it felt like I was a little tighter and they were a little harder to do than where I was holding my shoulders. So I wasn't really, in flow there for those ones. But since I only had to do seven instead of, you know, 10 or 11 in the set, wasn't so bad, we got through it. And so I think maybe I improved my form a little bit on that one. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna give you guys a break for a second. It'll jump, um, just to really let my chest rest a couple minutes, a couple of minutes before we do that next uh, set. Ooh, the wind's kicking up, it's getting chilly out here a little bit, but that's fine. Uh, anyway, I was thinking about the exercise again. I really wanna get this collar tight so I'm just like this, they don't creep up, and also straight. I wanna make sure that I also tighten here and make sure we tuck that butt in. So a couple things I'm really trying to get tight and straight. So we'll just try to get all of them together. So right here down under the shoulders, back a little bit. All right, so now we're gonna tighten. I'm gonna let my hands come out a little bit more. I'm gonna make sure I keep my elbows back. You don't want your elbows to come forward, but I'm also gonna to try to, I don't know, I felt like I was a little tight, even though I got through the exercise. And I think it was a good practice one. I feel like I, I feel like I could, yeah. There we go, it just kind of feels like a better place to push from right there. All right, so we're gonna tighten legs, tighten butt, tighten chest, one, two, three, four. That was interesting, my uh, hand kind of popped. Five, six, seven, oh, that's right. Is it, I already did eight, I did eight the first one. Yeah, I think I did eight the first one, didn't I? I was ready to do eight, I felt locked in to do eight. Eh, I think I did eight and then seven, right? I think I did that right, so that's what I was going for. Not 16, eight and eight like I did the last time. So I could have kept going. The idea is not to keep going. You're gonna do better by not over-exercising your muscles. And I did a real good jo job of that with my squats. Because my squats, I started at less than my max, and I just kind of kept being really good and slowly going up. But my push-ups, I kept expecting they would get better faster. I really did. And at the time, I was just doing one set, one set every time. And the first thing I did is I, I improved my form. So my elbows weren't all out like this, and I had the straight shoulders and everything. I improved my form, but that still didn't get me there. Then I discovered, wait, I think I was doing like 80, 90% every time and I was doing it every day. I think I was doing too much. I think it was overtraining and that was keeping the growth from happening. So we'll see. It seems weird to do less, to actually do less exercise, but get more growth. And that's that's a weird thing. Most people are like, no, you gotta work harder. Eh, maybe, maybe you gotta work smarter. And so that's what this 80% day, 60% day is the thing is all about. You're gonna see we're gonna try a bigger max day for push-ups too. 
we will bump up that max eventually but right now our max is officially 21 and we're never even going to try for that number on any day except for a max desk max day we're going to basically shoot for that 70 percent i was talking about before but instead of just staying 70 percent we're going to do 60 percent 80 percent within that and then pop up and try a max day see where we're at change our max like we just did with the horizontal pull-ups and then we'll be hitting the 60 percent 80 percent numbers again for a little while until we try setting a new max so I think this is gonna work, man. I think this is a better way to do it, a smarter way to exercise. Anyway, let's uh, let's get a test spot here. Can you see me standing all the way up? Yep, so this is fine, about right here. Let's grab our best. <clears throat> there we go. <clears throat> Speaking of max, I don't even know what my max is on these. I might be able to do 40 of these, who knows? You know, or 30, I don't know. But usually I only, I mean, I, only, I always only do 21. I was doing 20, I went up to 21 recently. I'd like to go up to 22. I think I said in my last video, I think I could increase my max, and this is a good test because my last video I did at one o'clock in the morning or 1.30 or whatever. In this video, it's only like five in the afternoon. I'm sitting here and I'm doing, you know, it's less than 24 hours. So if it feels good today at 21 and, I'm ready, and I feel like I can push to 22, I surely will. I love this gut here, you guys get to see. I need to start doing this to hide my gut, right? Anyway, no, I'm just kidding, of course. Here we go, guys. That stuff doesn't matter, I'm telling you. The strength will come, the muscles will fill out. Don't worry about those little tiny things. Um, what I was gonna say here is that, oh, you know, I don't usually do that. I don't usually start with it on here. I usually find my my spot first. But anyway, let's step here so you can see the whole thing. Let's get those feet spread. What I was gonna say, let's get that, get everybody in the right position here. All right, ready? One, what was I gonna say? Oh, today, if I feel good, I'll do 22. Two, and we'll up the max. Three, and if I don't, I had a short turnaround, no big deal. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I got this easily. Easily, guys. 19. Arr. 20. <sighs> 21. Oh. 22. Oh. We did it, guys. We did it. We did it. We did it. We got done it. We increase that max on these guys that's awesome even on a short day of rest so we definitely have it for sure now is our new max and uh yeah so keep it up guys just remember a little bit every day adds up to a lot make it a habit do it every day make it easy and the tortoise versus the hare hey tortoise is gonna win the race man keep it up don't try to do too much don't injure yourselves if you listen to all this talk, go ahead and subscribe. It'll be fun. Hit that little button up there. Get notices every day. Hit that bell button. Hit all. You get notices every day. Post every day. Anyway, guys, we'll see you guys next time on Daily Commitment.